Okay, here we are with our 2021 Dodge Charger with the 5.7 liter. We are finishing up a Torque Storm installation. And I just wanted to take a couple minutes and show off how we routed our piping for the charge pipes. Uh, the Torque Storm is installed. It is a beautiful installation. That is a wonderful supercharger. Uh, we chopped a hole in the body right at the front of the fender, right here, so that the pipe doesn't have to be deformed coming right off the power adder. We'll show what that looks like down here. Nice, uh, doesn't stick out much, just a little bit, just a little curve, only like about half of it, but you can see all this would have been crushed up on the other side of this metal if we left it there, so we cut that out. Uh, and then we used a couple of careful bends to try to bring the pipe uh, a little bit forward. So we got room for the tire to turn in and out without interacting with the pipe. Uh, we trimmed our brake ducts so we can still use our brake ducts on both sides. And on the passenger side, the pipe just makes a quick U, comes around and then comes up, like almost straight up. And then this little piece of pipe right here is where we will put our blow off valve. And that'll be the whole uh, charge pipe set up for the torque storm. Uh, this 2021 has the new fuel system in it, a uh, newer style fuel pump that is not the same pump that was used from 15 or 17 up to 21. This is the fuel pump that gets used from 20 to 20 to 2023. And so uh, we added a booster pump for the torque storm uh, on the 21 charger, the fuel pump relay and fuse are right here in the back with the battery. Whoa. Specifically, uh, this is the relay. We're not using that relay anymore. What we've done is we've pulled the fuse block up and uh, cut out the relay wires and we wired in this nice little uh, 60 80 amp relay it's a bigger relay it's got better contacts and it'll hold a better load and uh and this is our booster pump right next to the battery and then we ran the sensor wire for the booster pump all the way along this main harness up down under the, the back seat up, up along the uh passenger side sill up to the firewall and out to the front uh this way the pump will drive up to 17 and a half volts at three psi boost I'll leave this open. Uh, this charger is going to be radical. This is my first experience with the Torx Storm. I've installed power adders a couple of different ways, uh, every which way. Um, I'm I'm used to having uh, a specific vent and uh, a dipstick and uh, a slightly easier time with checking the fluid along with with uh, servicing it and changing the fluid, but. With the Torx Storm, you have to remove the head unit every time you want to change the fluid. And while that isn't always the case with some of the other power adders, to be honest, uh, I installed a Pro Charger in a 05, 06 Pontiac GTO, 06 GTO was LS2. And uh, on that one, we ended up having to remove the head unit every time we wanted to change the oil anyway. So sometimes you end up there even with the higher end kits. I'm actually pretty anxious to see how this Torx Storm performs and we're, we're getting really close. Uh, right now it's time to get the uh, front bumper back on and then uh, I think we still have to deal with uh, getting the inlet air temp sensor work and the blow up valve set up and then we got to find a two bar map sensor for all this before we start calibrating with HP tuners. This thing is going to be radical. Anyway, second shift performance.